This channel and all its videos are non-profit and for the sole objectives of educational and teaching purposes only. We hope everyone enjoy and learn from them. Hello everyone, Teacher Lim here once more. Thank you so much uh, once again for joining me and my channel and video. So uh, for today, right, I will be talking about uh, how to draw, not just talking, I mean I'll be demonstrating how to draw a mushroom and labeling its parts. So uh, if uh, I might add as well, this is more of a lesson of not just science, but a combination of both uh, science and art. So I hope uh, everyone have a, a great learning experience through this video. So uh, this is on, on the topic of diversity of uh, living things. So I will be drawing a sky blue mushroom, which I found online, a very interesting mushroom. So a uh, mushroom is actually in a part of a bigger group of animals, sorry, not animals, pardon me there, part of a bigger group of living things called fungi, alright, so a uh, mushroom is part of a bigger group called fungi, so uh, this will be more suitable for primary three students at about 9 years of age or older, I think it's fine, so uh, as mentioned, uh, it's found in the topic of diversity of living things, so um, I will be drawing and labeling parts of a uh, sky blue mushroom, so um, once more, uh, credits go to Google and Google Images that I'm able to find such a beautiful or many beautiful pictures or images of this mushroom. So now, uh, more about the sky blue mushroom. Its scientific name, okay, it's quite a mouthful. It's actually called the Antholoma hochstateri. So pardon me there, I'm not exactly familiar how to, familiar how to pronounce this. So this is how it's spelled. Now, uh, this sky blue mushroom is mostly found in New Zealand as I have uh, found out or did my research online. But it can also be found in a few places in India. Now, uh, it can be found mostly or, or uh, all of them usually grow uh, near moss, ferns or fallen leaves. So you can see that all these are actually at the ground or on the ground. Now, uh, I really like this saying in uh, when I was doing my research about this mushroom on uh, Google. So, it says here, this sky blue mushroom would not be much good in an egg omelette. <laughs> so, I mean, everyone or most people would like uh, to have uh, a mushroom omelette uh, or a mushroom cooked with an egg. But uh, for this beautiful blue mushroom, uh, I mean, it's good to look at, but it's definitely uh, poisonous, or I would say it's not safe to eat. Going by this phrase that I found on Google, would not be much good in an egg omelette. Now, why I decided to choose this mushroom to, to talk about or to draw on, because, um, I mean, blue is one of my favorite colors. So, um, I decided to choose this mushroom to, to focus on for this video. So here is one picture of the the mushroom. So over here is another picture of the sky blue mushroom. I think you can see here the stalk here is slightly longer and thinner compared to the previous one. All right. Then uh, more pictures of the sky blue mushroom. So you can see that it's growing upwards. So in case you don't already know, so this is the stalk of the mushroom. So this is the cap. They're all, I mean, the whole mushroom is in a very nice sky blue color. Alright, here is another picture of the sky blue mushroom. So you can see that it's found among uh, fallen leaves or on the ground or among moss. So I think uh, everyone or most people should know that mushrooms go grow well on the ground or in the dark places or as long as there's moisture or water because they don't need the sunlight unlike leaves or plants to make food so mushrooms are not able to make their own food hence they do not need to grow high up or higher up uh, above the ground like plants where plants will need to uh, make food using their leaves in the presence of sunlight so there you go, the last picture 
of a close-up image of the sky blue mushroom. I think there's some dirt over here you can see on the mushroom, on the cap of the mushroom. All right, now, so I will move on to the next part of the video, which is a demonstration video. So I will be drawing, coloring, and labeling the parts of a sky blue mushroom. And I hope everyone will enjoy this demonstration. And hopefully you are able to draw your own mushroom and label it. Uh, of course, label it correctly and have fun learning about mushrooms. All right, everyone, so I have the white paper or blank paper here. So I will start drawing the, the mushroom. So um, I don't think I want to draw it out of the, I mean, uh, draw it in the air. So probably I will draw a, a surface first or the soil or the ground. Then I will draw the, the stalk of the mushroom. All right. Okay, so this is the stock. So probably I will draw the, the the gills or the underside of the the blue sky blue mushroom. All right. Okay, the gills. So this is where the the spores are found right so the cap of the mushroom so it's uh it's quite pointed if you remember correctly uh, if I remember correctly, yet uh, it's quite uh, rounded on the, the, the sides or, or the outer shape of the mushroom. Right, let me darken the rest of the mushroom. So, this is the stalk. Uh, Drawn, actually basically I've drawn every part of the, the mushroom so maybe as I'm drawing it and after I've colored it I will move on to labeling the mushroom the different parts of the mushroom so of course uh, I will not draw in the, the spores but I will indicate that it is found uh, in the gills or among the gills or found in the gills of the sky blue mushroom so probably let me darken the surface there may be some some leaves or moss by the side some small plants okay. some moss on the ground Right, so probably I move on to coloring the the mushroom first. So if you remember, it is a, a light blue, sky blue kind of uh, color. So probably a, a darker blue at the bottom so that 
I can I mean you can know that it is a at the bottom so it's a bit darker without the lighting uh, from the sky or from the sun probably a, a darker blue here there you go so probably a bit of brown on the ground pun intended I guess <laughs> Brown on the ground. So a bit of brown color here. Right. So probably a light green indicate some uh, leaves or plants, small leaves or plants on the ground. Probably some a uh, green indicate the moss uh, that's grown or found on the ground on the soil because of the moisture. Right, so let me clear this a bit. We got a nice um, blue sky blue mushroom here. So maybe let me label the, the parts. Okay, so this would be the cap, the mushroom cap. So this would be the, the gills. So this is where the spores are found. So probably the, the stalk of the mushroom. Oh, pardon me there, I think I missed out on the title, so I'll quickly add the title in here. So this is the, the Sky Blue Mushroom. Okay, so the, these are the different parts of the mushroom. So uh, like any artist or, or painter or drawer, so I'll just probably add my, my initials here, Teacher Lim. So I don't think I missed out any part of the mushroom. So um, there you go, there you have it, a very simple um, drawing and colouring and labelling of the blue sky, or sky blue, sorry, sky blue mushroom. And probably I'll just write today's date, if not wrong, today's the 7th of March. It's been a year 2020. This is at about um, 4.50pm. So I hope that um, everyone enjoyed this sim simple uh, demonstration and I hope they, everyone can draw, label and colour and come up with your own mushroom as well. So uh, mushroom is a fungi so I hope that uh, you can find a mushroom that you like or prefer online, follow its picture closely or, this, or its image closely and produce a similar drawing and labeling as I have or as I had so thank you so much for watching everyone